Hello, Spring Lake Park community. This is Mike Welch, Tournament Director for the 3M Open. At the 3M Open, we are so proud to come alongside and support the Panther Foundation and their wonderful initiatives such as the Panther Pantry and the Weekend Food Packs. Over the last 10 years, I've personally seen how it can impact these families and the kids that benefit from these Corona Pro initiatives. I've coached many of these kids. I've seen their successes in the classroom and it's really through the Panther Foundation and what you do for these families that really impacts the lives of these kids and their families. I'd encourage all of us to make 2021 the best year yet for the Panther Foundation. I'd also be remiss if I didn't invite you all to the 3M Open this summer here in Blaine at TPC Twin Cities, July 19th to the 25th. With our proceeds, we give back to those in need as well, whether it be through COVID-19 relief, social injustice, military, or other initiatives that are important to not only 3M, but the 3M Open staff. Thanks for in advance for your support. Go Panthers. Hi there, I'm Dave Folden, cataract and LASIK eye surgeon from North Suburban Eye Specialists. North Suburban Eye has multiple locations throughout the metro area, including one close to you off of Highway 65 in Blaine. We offer all medical and surgical eye care services and are happy to help. I'm also a dad in the district. Hi Al, hi Tommy, and I'm proud to be part of this special night. Supporting the Panther Foundation is important this year more than ever. It's been a challenging year for everyone. And although I miss being able to gather together to support the needs of our district, I'm thankful we have the opportunity to join together virtually to help fund the Panther Pantry and Meal Pack program. Helping fund these programs to feed hungry kids in our community, that's something I want to be a part of. If we can feed hungry stomachs, these kids can continue to grow and learn and just be kids. So tonight, let's give and bid and do our part. Thanks everyone and enjoy the night. I'm Lynn Stepaniak, president of the Blaine Ham Lake Rotary Club. And with me today is Chris Tiedemann, our president-elect. The COVID epidemic has exponentially increased food insecurity for families and school-aged children in our neighborhoods. The Blaine Ham Lake Rotary Club made the decision this past year to direct all of our fundraising efforts to feeding our community. It's been an honor to support our struggling neighbors through the Panther Foundation and work with groups like Hope Community Church Food Drive and the Every Meal Organization, programs that also help feed many of the same families. Your weekend food program is especially important to us as we know providing nutritious meals helps kids learn better and keeps them healthy. Thank you for the opportunity to speak with you tonight and we are always looking for new Rotary members to help us better serve our community. If you value service above self, please check out the Blaineham Lake Rotary Facebook page for more information. Thank you. Hey everybody, it's Tyler Miller here with the Dyna Realty and the Tyler Miller team. I'm once again so honored and privileged to be a sponsor of the Panther Foundation. And you know, I think if 2020 and COVID have taught us anything, it's that it's gonna take a huge community effort to make a difference in people's lives and also, I mean, in the entire nation, right? And so what better place to start than at the biggest event of the year for our Spring Lake Park School District. And, you know, you guys have continued to change my life and support me and my family in so many ways. Um, the support that you guys uh, continually give my business is incredible. In 2020, we became the number one real estate team in all of Blaine. And that is one small reason why I want to continue to support all of you and your families. Mainly, you know, my kids are going to the Spring Lake Park School District as well. I wanna make sure that I'm doing everything in my power to help shape not only my children's uh, young minds, but yours as well, and give you as much support as I can. So let's raise a ton of money. Let's just continue to, to invest into each other and into this community. And, you know, I'm just so excited to be a part of it. So thanks guys, let's, let's kick butt tonight and go Panthers.
Hello, Spring Lake Park community. This is Mike Welch, Tournament Director for the 3M Open. At the 3M Open, we are so proud to come alongside and support the Panther Foundation and their wonderful initiatives such as the Panther Pantry and the Weekend Food Packs. Over the last 10 years, I've personally seen how it can impact these families and the kids that benefit from these Corona Pro initiatives. I've coached many of these kids. I've seen their successes in the classroom and it's really through the Panther Foundation and what you do for these families that really impacts the lives of these kids and their families. I'd encourage all of us to make 2021 the best year yet for the Panther Foundation. I'd also be remiss if I didn't invite you all to the 3M Open this summer here in Blaine at TPC Twin Cities, July 19th to the 25th. With our proceeds, we give back to those in need as well, whether it be through COVID-19 relief, social injustice, military, or other initiatives that are important to not only 3M, but the 3M Open staff. Thanks for in advance for your support. Go Panthers. Hi there, I'm Dave Folden, cataract and LASIK eye surgeon from North Suburban Eye Specialists. North Suburban Eye has multiple locations throughout the metro area, including one close to you off of Highway 65 in Blaine. We offer all medical and surgical eye care services and are happy to help. I'm also a dad in the district. Hi Al, hi Tommy, and I'm proud to be part of this special night. Supporting the Panther Foundation is important this year more than ever. It's been a challenging year for everyone. And although I miss being able to gather together to support the needs of our district, I'm thankful we have the opportunity to join together virtually to help fund the Panther Pantry and Meal Pack program. Helping fund these programs to feed hungry kids in our community, that's something I wanna be a part of. If we can feed hungry stomachs, these kids can continue to grow and learn and just be kids. So tonight, let's give and bid and do our part. Thanks everyone and enjoy the night. I'm Lynn Shapaniak, president of the Blaine Ham Lake Rotary Club. And with me today is Chris Tiedemann, our president-elect. The COVID epidemic has exponentially increased food insecurity for families and school-aged children in our neighborhoods. The Blaine Ham Lake Rotary Club made the decision this past year to direct all of our fundraising efforts to feeding our community. It's been an honor to support our struggling neighbors through the Panther Foundation and work with groups like Hope Community Church Food Drive and the Every Meal Organization, programs that also help feed many of the same families. Your weekend food program is especially important to us as we know providing nutritious meals helps kids learn better and keeps them healthy. Thank you for the opportunity to speak with you tonight and we are always looking for new Rotary members to help us better serve our community. If you value service above self, please check out the Blaineham Lake Rotary Facebook page for more information. Thank you. Hey everybody, it's Tyler Miller here with Edina Realty and the Tyler Miller team. I'm once again so honored and privileged to be a sponsor of the Panther Foundation. And you know, I think if 2020 and COVID have taught us anything, it's that it's gonna take a huge community effort to make a difference in people's lives and also, I mean, in the entire nation, right? And so what better place to start than at the biggest event of the year for our Spring Lake Park School District. And, you know, you guys have continued to change my life and support me and my family in so many ways. Um, the support that you guys uh, continually give my business is incredible. In 2020, we became the number one real estate team in all of Blaine. And that is one small reason why I want to continue to support all of you and your families. Mainly, you know, my kids are going to the Spring Lake Park School District as well. I wanna make sure that I'm doing everything in my power to help shape not only my children's uh, young minds, but yours as well, and give you as much support as I can. So let's raise a ton of money. Let's just continue to, to invest into each other and into this community. And, you know, I'm just so excited to be a part of it. So thanks guys, let's, let's kick butt tonight and go Panthers. Are you there, Jeff? Jeff, you're muted. I can't hear you. Jeff, you're muted. Oh, hey, Marla, sorry about that. What were you doing? You look pretty intense. 
I was just hanging out here with Molly. There's Molly watching uh, some hoops. It's time for the Panthers for a Purpose event. Are you ready? Oh yeah, I'm ready. It starts at 7.30. I'll be ready by then. It starts at 7, which is now. What? What? Okay, I guess I'll be ready to go now then. Hey Jeff, do you have time to take Molly for a walk before the event? Uh, actually, I don't. It just got started. You said it was at 7.30. Um, no, it's right, right now. It just got started. You mean, oops. <laughs> uh, the challenges of 2020. Everyone's favorite mascot is joining us tonight. Panther, are you ready? Panther community, are you ready? We are so excited for tonight's event and so pleased that you have joined us. As you party with your family tonight, take a selfie or two and check out how to post your photos at the Party Hub at pantherfoundation.org. You can also engage with other audience members by joining the live chat. Show your Panther pride, everyone. Panthers are in the house. This has been a year to remember for sure. Jeff, do you remember our gala a year ago? Whining and dining at the event center and celebrating our 16th annual Panther Gala? I sure do. It was a great night for the Panther Foundation and Spring Lake Park Schools. This year, we are in our living rooms, sipping our drinks and snacking on popcorn. This is certainly a different kind of celebration, but how awesome that we get to celebrate with our entire Panther family tonight. While some of us may miss dressing up and getting out for the night, what excites me the most about tonight is our Panther community coming together. Even though we are apart, to celebrate SLP schools and the very important work that we do. This year has been memorable for sure. We have a lot to celebrate and be thankful for as Panthers tonight. SLP provides our students with a world-class education in facilities that are second to none. We have a mission to know each child by interest, by strength and need, and an amazing staff who've been working so hard each day of the year. And we have a Panther family that is Panther proud that celebrates together and supports one another. Spring Lake Park Schools is filled with creative teachers and staff that genuinely care about their students. They have spent the last year working incredibly hard to make sure your students have a wonderful learning experience in spite of all that has happened. We are truly a community that celebrates and rallies together like no other. Thank you for tuning in tonight and wanting to be a part of something bigger. The pandemic has impacted our community, our neighbors, our children, now more than perhaps ever before in SLP history. We have families struggling to put food on the table. When students are hungry, it is much more difficult for them to focus on learning. As a district, we have continued to feed kids their school meals, but it takes a whole community coming together to make sure our children have enough to eat outside normal school hours. Tonight we come together to support a really important program in our school district, the Panther Pantry and the Weekend Food Pack program. All giving tonight will feed children in our community. Funding will help make sure our children do not go hungry when school is not in session. We will help make sure the Panther Pantry and the Weekend Food Pack program is stocked up and funded for the days ahead and many years to come. Hey Panther, do you have anything to add? Yes, Panther, this is really important work. While you spend time with your family tonight watching our program, make sure you are bidding on the silent auction items. With more than 200 items, you have no time to waste. And if you haven't checked it out yet, visit the link at the bottom of the screen to get started. The auction will close at 8.30. All right, SLP family, are you ready to see what some of your principals have been up to the last couple of weeks? Get ready, be silly, and have a lot of fun as a family. And let's help the Panther Foundation raise all kinds of money. Early in January, we asked you to accept the first of three Panther challenges, pennies for packs and a community food drive. Here's Panthers in action with a message from Mr. Larson. Hey Spring Lake Park community, I'm here with some of my friends and we're getting ready to pick up all those donations. We're just doing some of our workout routines. We're ready for you know, that food drive and that coin distribution. So I'm going to start with my uh, penny lifts here, getting into shape. So thank you so much for all your donations. We're looking forward to it.
you so much, SLP community, for your efforts with the first Panther Challenge. Together, we raised $762.96 and gathered 1,514 pounds of food. That's three quarters of a ton. Wow. Prior to this evening, the Panther Foundation sold swag bags. Everyone who purchased a swag bag was entered into a drawing. Tonight, we will announce the four winners. Marla, who is our first winner? It is my pleasure to announce the first winner. Alicia Webb is the winner of the $100 Walmart gift card. Congrats. We will be in touch to get you your prize. Now we're going to hear from Mrs. Cahoon, principal at North Point Elementary School, to tell us the story behind the weekend food packs. I'm really excited to share with you the story about how Panther Packs came to be. A number of years ago, I was the principal at Woodcrest Elementary, and we noticed a little friend that would come to school very dysregulated every Monday. And he was typically a happy-go-lucky little boy, always engaged in his learning, friendly, just a delight to have in class. We noticed on Monday mornings when he would come in, he was just a little bit off. He just, he just wasn't himself. He'd usually come in with a big hug and a smile, and instead we found that he'd just go to his desk and sit quietly. He always liked sharing about his mornings, but for some reason, on Monday mornings, he didn't want to really offer anything. And so, with a little bit of investigative work, his teacher visited with him, like, what's going on, buddy? How can we help you? And, and we finally came to learn that this friend was hungry, that over the weekend, he had not had meals like he would have during the school day. So we reached out and worked with his mom, tried to see how we could help the family, and she went on to share with us that, yep, it's probably likely that he's hungry. We're struggling a little bit to find, you know, the weans to put a meal on the table. And she shared, in fact, that she often herself would sacrifice the bread for a peanut butter and jelly sandwich so that her kids could have something to eat. And so touched by this story and really wanting to serve this little friend and help him reach his full potential, we went to Colleen Peterson and Community Services and said, hey, is there a way we can help this little boy? And we have a, a, real, a real inkling that he's not the only one coming to school hungry on Mondays because he hasn't gotten food to eat over the weekend. And that was the inspiration for the development of the Panther Packs program. In working with our Panther Foundation over the years, we have been able to supply many, many hungry children with food for the weekend. Since 2013, we have provided 26,000 Panther Packs for our children. The Panther Pack program was running strong up until March of 2020. And we all know what happened then, COVID hit. It affected our community in so many ways, but one way I don't think we saw it coming was the impact it would have on our ability to provide Panther Packs for our students. We had an increased request by 256%. And so our funding was depleted rapidly. And we are hoping that we can replenish our resources and, and continue to provide Panther Packs for our children. I'm here to share this story to inspire you, to ask you if you'd be willing to provide a donation so that we can sustain this service to our children. I'm asking you to think about friends you might know that could need this resource, need this food, and think about how we might contribute to our Panther Foundation so that they in turn can help our friends get the food they need over the weekend so they can come to school and do a great job learning so they won't feel isolated and alone. So we won't wonder, are they hungry? Instead, we'll know that we've been able to give them what they need and set them off for a great week of learning. Hello, I'm Miss Perkins and welcome to Park Terrace Clubhouse. I am here with our Panther to talk a little bit about our weekend packs. Uh, Panther has some questions for me, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's see, our first one, Panther. How have weekend packs made a difference? Um, weekend packs make a big difference for our families. We have probably over 50 families that receive them um, every week, and they're, the packs are made up of a couple meals that the kids can cook on their own at, um, on the weekend. They don't require any additional ingredients. And it's really just meant as a way to um, to just tide them over through through the weekend and back into the, uh, the school week. 
This has been something that's been, the partnership has been going on for a few years and every year the need has increased and increased. So this program is um, not only effective, but there's a, absolutely a need for it. All right, let's see what's next, Panther. What would you like um, our audience to know? Well, I'd like our audience to know that these weekend packs are, they mean a lot to a lot of our people in our community. With the pandemic that has hit, we have a lot more families that did not experience food insecurity in the past that are experiencing it now. So there's a lot more people that are in need. I'd also like the community to know what an impact that the generosity of the community has had because we have been able to provide food for so many more families. And I think that that's critical. Our families come from, our kids come from very loving homes and it is difficult um, as a parent when things happen like this pandemic that puts you in a position where you can't, you're not able to provide. Is there another one? All right, what makes SLP special to you? Um, one of the biggest things that makes SLP special to me is the absolutely amazing community that, that we are all a part of. It is not just our school community, it's between our kids, our staff, our families, um, the organizations all around us. We all come together and take care of each other and that's that the Weekend Pack program is one of the, it's just an example of how we've done that. Um, so this community is incredibly generous and caring and really takes, it, takes care of each other. Um, you know, there's the old saying that it takes a village to raise a child and I've, I'm really, really proud to be a part of this village. We got one more? All right. Oh, thank you, Miss Perkins. Well, thank you, Panther. And actually, thank you for your generosity. Your contribution to this program is incredibly important. Thank you so much. Thanks, Judy and Mona. This is such an important cause, and we have the Panther power tonight to step up and ensure this program continues. Pick up your phones or hop on the computer and bid it on those great silent auction items, or better yet, on the first page, hit the Donate Now button and give at a level that is meaningful to you. Every dollar matters. As we all know, we have a lot to be proud of in Spring Lake Park Schools. In fact, we challenged you to share your pride with us. And John Frankie, tell us more about the challenge. Oh my gosh, that makes so much sense. I'm gonna add it to our spirit plan. Yep. Yeah. Back spirit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on a second. I'm almost done. I, hey, one second. Hey. Welcome. I didn't even know you were here. Um, since you are here, I'm just going to take a moment and say thank you. We challenged you all to do a 10 day Panther Pride extravaganza. And I'm quite sure you guys did a pretty good job of it mittens while you're at work, visors from 1992, all sorts of Panther gear every day. In fact, here's an opportunity to take a look.
proud of you all. I'm also really proud about the work that we're going to be doing, having the opportunity with your donations to feed students and children here in Spring Lake Park Schools. So take a moment, reach into your pocket, to your wallet, your purse, pull up cash, credit cards, Venmo, Bitcoin preferably at this point. Let's make it rain. Harper, take it away. Hi, my name is Harper and I'm a fifth grader at Westwood. I'm here with the Panther Foundation to give you a tour of the Panther Pantry, a behind the scenes look at where your money is going tonight. I'm really excited to show everyone the pantry tonight. The pantry is managed by a group of students in the Life Skills Transition Program. These students are 18 to 21 and are learning life skills. So the pantry is a great real work situation. The workers inventory the food that has been donated, shelving it into categories like we would see at the supermarket, checking dates and separating food for the weekend packs. When inventory runs low on specific items for the weekend packs, the team heads over to the food warehouse to pick up supplies. The weekend packs have special foods ready to heat and eat meals that little kids can even make without an adult and without any extra ingredients like milk or butter. I got involved with the Panther Pantry last year because I wanted to make a difference in my community. My teacher had asked us to write about a civic problem in our community and I decided to put mine into action. It was really upsetting to me how kids were hungry. So I made with my friend a organization called No More Hunger and we donated food that we collected in my school to the Panther Pantry. I also made and sold scrunchies in my community to as a fundraiser and I ended up raising over $300 to give to the Panther Pantry. So this is the Panther Pantry. It is a small space but it has a big impact. It's broken down into four main sections. The first section is foods that family can make so like peanut butter and mixed fruit, so there's cans and boxes in this area. And then over here there's toiletries, which are mostly for kids who are suffering homelessness. And then there's coats and jackets over here. And then over here there is ready to eat meals, like Easy Mac, mac and cheese, where you just have to add water so little kids can make them. And like soups in cans and just granola bars that you can just eat by yourself so little kids can make them without any adults. The pantry is not open to public but if families need an emergency bag of food they can get one through their schools. If you need help or know someone who needs help have them talk with the school office. They can get you in touch with the right people. There are a lot of ways you can support this work. Donate money to the pantry, run a food drive in your neighborhood and ask for weekend pack items, host a lemonade stand in the summer, or make something like I did and sell them as a fundraiser. Thanks SLP community for taking care of our kids. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for your generosity. It's great to see our community coming together to support our kids. You know that SLP rocks. Thank you so much for your generosity tonight and for helping us make sure that every one of our students feels loved and supported. Thank you. Thank you for supporting our families in need. Thank you for supporting our community. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for supporting our students. Thank you to all of our supporters. Your donations help keep the Panther Pantry stocked, children fed, and ready to learn. We couldn't do this without you. Thank you. Thanks for all your support of our Panther Pantry. I want to take a moment to say thank you to our community for supporting this work. It is through your kindness, compassion, and generosity that we're able to provide food for our weekend food packs, and also for our Panther Pantry. Thank you, Panther Foundation, for continuing to share your compassion and your generosity with our students. Letting them know we care about them is so important to their success at Spring Lake Park. Thank you, Panthers, for all you do to make our community, SLP Panther, proud. The weekend food packs let students know that we care about them, even when they're not at school. Thank you. Every bit helps. When my children went through the Spring Lake Park schools, I naively thought that all of their classmates lived in our neighborhood and had pretty much the same circumstances as us. It wasn't until I started teaching in the district that I realized you never know somebody else's circumstances. There are children in our district that go without eating. 
Thank you so much for helping to feed all of the children. Thank you everyone for that. And thank you Harper for the great tour. You are an inspiration to all of us to get up and do something when we see a need in our community. Now that we have heard all of the reasons why you should give tonight, this is the time to give. Dig deep and let's do this as a community. The silent auction is open until 8.30 tonight. If you haven't jumped in there yet, go to the link below the video and get started. There are items for the whole family, even the family pet. It is time to announce another drawing winner. Congrats to Jody Greenlaw. You have won a $100 Cub Foods gift card. We have two more drawing winners to announce and we'll do that at the end of the program. Make sure you stay tuned. Hey, Panther friends and family. We're glad you're joining us tonight for the dance party. Woo, what's going on at the high school? By the way, while you're partying at home and dancing away, be sure to send us your pictures and videos at Take the Panther Foundation on Facebook or visit pantherfoundation.org and have a great time celebrating. Woo! Good evening, everyone. Mike Callahan, principal at Centerview Elementary. Welcome to tonight's event. We are fortunate to have our Pantherettes SLP dance team here with us tonight, and they're going to be teaching us a dance, which many of our staff members from across the district have learned, and you're going to be able to see them as teachers and principals performing this dance. So get ready, and let's do this. Be the one everyone, what a night. Remember you have until 8.30 tonight to bid on the silent auction items. 
encourage your family, friends, neighbors to consider donating to the pantry. We need all the help we can get to make this a long lasting and successful program. Go to pantherfoundation.org for more information on how you can stay engaged with our work. Thank you to our event committee for all of your work on this very special and unique evening. Thank you to our generous community members, those that gave auction items, sponsored the event and supported us in so many ways. Thank you, Panther family and Panther sponsors for coming together tonight, celebrating together, supporting this great work and for all that you are doing to make this unforgettable school year a success. We appreciate you. You make all of us SLP Panther proud. Before we sign off for the night, we have two more names to announce for the final two drawings. Shiana Huckendorf is the winner of a $100 Amazon gift card. And drum roll, please. Danielle Helmer is the winner of the $250 gift card. Congrats to all of our drawing winners tonight and to our Panther family for an outstanding evening. You can still win some great prizes. Get out there and bid. Then check out the event hub at pantherfoundation.org to see our results. Thank you so much, Panther family.